Hey everyone, welcome to a Goodie Reader Worldwide Exclusive. We have here the Icarus Illumina Excel HD. This is the model that they're marketing on Kickstarter right now and uh, various retail channels. It's not commercially available yet. This is a handcrafted prototype unit. So a lot of people are excited about this because it's a 7.8 inch e-reader that has an e-ink carded screen. It actually has e-ink uh, waveform controllers in the form of Regal. So the performance of this is really awesome. 1872 by 1404 is the, re is the, the resolution. It has 300 PPI, a 16 gigs of internal memory. It has MP3 support, so you can listen to audiobooks and everything like that. It also has Bluetooth, which is something that's rare in an e-reader, so you can hook up a third-party accessories. That's right. We're not going to show the hardware too in-depth because this is not the final build. This is not the final build at all. So this is just what we're dealing with on the table. It will look completely different from this when it is finalized. They've just thrown it in this shell so we have something physical to show you guys. Yeah, firmware when during this preview is not finalized. This uh, e-reader will have Google Play support and the Google Play framework so you'll be able to install apps. It is running, I believe on this model, Android 4.4. So it does have support for modern day apps such as One known Evernote, things like that. The home screen is quintessential Icarus. If yes. you've ever had an Icarus e-reader before, things here look very familiar. Uh, they have like soft, like UI here, home button back, initiating in the front light, Wi-Fi battery, uh, the time and stuff like that. Uh, this does last about, about a month or so. It has a 2800 milliamp battery, so you should get a lot of lifespan on this. So we'll just quickly go through a bunch of these. Books is obviously where all of your preloaded content and sideloaded content will be. Icarus has always been really good at including lots of different languages and lots of different books of every respectable language, Italian, French, Spanish, and so forth. Everything will show up there. And the lists like the format, EPUB, PDF, text doc, stuff like that. Right. File Manager is basically your browser. This will allow you to look at pictures, anything under DCIM or download. You can just go and browse your file directories under there. Apps is where you start to get away from the e-reader experience and start to really get into the Android experience. You can see a bunch of preloaded stuff from JD, uh, some music, downloads directory, browser. You can obviously side load in APK files and it'll show up there. Images are anything that you've either downloaded or side loaded and we'll take a look at the images right now. So this is a HD uh, picture. You can see you do have some pinch and zoom capabilities. You also have, if you click in the center, you have 90 degree counterclockwise and clockwise. And what this will do, if you click it very properly, is turn everything the respective direction. This doesn't have a uh, gyroscope in it, so it can't do it on its own. It has to be software driven. Lastly, settings. We're not going to go through all of this. Obviously, this is standard Android stuff, Wi-Fi, uh, accounts managers where you would put in your accounts for, say, email or Google, date and time, factory settings, language and keyboard. Um, of course, this is running Android, so you can choose different keyboards, Chinese languages, French languages, European languages. Both the OS and the uh, keyboards can change into the languages. And this is just to give you an idea of what reading is going to be like on this device. So you can say you can see because it's running Carta, the refresh rate has been drastically improved. So it's it's very quick. Yeah, the original uh, Icarus like XL, uh, this is the second generation model, it just had a pearl screen. So Bookerly is preloaded on there. Um, I don't know if they were just doing some testing or if this is going to make it into final, but that's pretty much an Amazon font. Everything changes live. You can do line spacing. I've always liked Icarus for being very technical with their line spacing. It's not just one, two, three, four. They have like decimal points. Uh, you have normal style, bold. You have uh, auto page turns. You can either turn that on or off. You have orientation. You can change it uh, completely 180, 360, 270, whatever you want to do. So there's quite a bit of options when it comes to changing the text. Of course, if you long press on a word, you can get into highlights where you can then go copy, annotations, digest, and dictionary. We're just going to click on annotations to look at the keyboard. 
So this will give you a good time to look at the keyboard. Um, the default keyboard, obviously they have one with an optional Chinese uh, character set. You can install any keyboard you wish, so don't uh, chalk this up to being the only option. Yeah, and you don't have to just start at the word, but it has like a slider bar where you could like highlight, you know, this entire thing. So this is a PDF version of an e-book. So we'll go to the text change and you'll see that things have changed. If you click B plus, this is basically making the boldness or the contrast higher, as you can see, gray. Uh, you can uh, justify the corners of the screen to all the corners or the sides. You can kind of stretch it. You can see that we've eliminated the margins on the side. You can reflow. If you click this, we're not going to do this now. What this will do is justify everything to the left, remove all images, headers, titles, everything, and just have the text. And clip margin is a way to isolate. Um, we'll just show you here. I won't actually change it. Clip margin is a way to isolate a zone so you can zoom in on that zone, but we're not going to be doing that because this is an ebook. So it does have a lot of flexible options for PDFs, but uh, they're not always necessary to do reading. So this being a production model and not final, we're unsure whether it's going to change when, in terms of the lights and whatnot, the placement and the lumosity. We can say right now, there's nothing wrong with this. I mean, corner to corner, it is perfectly distributed. Yeah, what's interesting about this e-reader is the vast majority of them have lights at the bottom of right. the screen to project with light upwards. Uh, Icarus has done something interesting, at least with this handcrafted production unit, uh, there at the top. And it looks to be, as of right now, there are 10 LEDs, so whether that changes in the future, we're not sure. We can only, we can only hope. And let's just do a little bit of uh, light changes here. So you tap the middle, tap the little light bulb, and we can change the light lumosity so you can go really low really big so just really find that kind of uh you know middle ground and what you like so you don't wake up people around you and whatnot yeah so if it goes down all the way it's actually off a lot of e-readers when you turn it to the lowest setting the front light's still on so icarus actually will have stuff you know you could actually shut like the front light off yeah this e-reader is pretty good um we hope you enjoyed this review video. We really are happy to give you a first look at this. If you have any ideas for anything that you would like us to take a more advanced or specific look at that we didn't do in this review video, drop a comment below. For goodyreader.com, my name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.